So I've been asked by quite a few of my subscribers if I can make some more of these videos where I play a game and talk through what I'm doing as I go. So I'm going to make a few clearances here and just try and explain my thought process and how I'm going about making the clearance and what I'm doing on each shot, how I'm thinking about my position on the next shot. So as usual, assessing the table, looking at the, the balls here and the reds look a far better colour with the yellow got the ball tied up behind the black and on the cushion. So we're going to play this first red to the middle, using that yellow as a stopper to stop nicely on the next ball. Now the only slight problem ball we've got is the reds is this red just above the black. So we're going to try and get on this now by playing down and stopping on this yellow ball, which allows us to get that red back across to the opposite middle. Done that nicely. Then these two balls at the bottom we just need to be in behind the black and the yellow here. So we're just going to screw back just a touch not very far at all so we're leaving ourselves on the bottom left red just dropping that to the middle and then here we need to get back up the table after this so we don't want to end up too high on this next red so we're just going to stay low so that we've got a nice angle on this red to play up towards the middle pocket and then on those two reds at the top of those two reds at the top, then ideally we want to use the middle one to get down onto the black. So we're going to play for the top red first. So we're just going up towards the middle pocket. It leaves us a nice angle there just to stun across. Again, leaving us high on the next red to give us an angle to come down towards the black. So just, just hitting below centre here just to stun across a few inches. Leaving ourselves high enough so we've still got a bit of an angle. So we can now just screw back a bit into this space here and be nicely on the black to finish. Nice and straight on the black. Don't need to worry about the white going in off anywhere so we can concentrate on the pot, hit the white ball nicely in the center. And straight into the corner. So that last clearance was nice and clean and fairly straightforward. Things don't always go to plan though and this, this is more of an example of having to adapt your, your plan and how you're going about clearing the table as you go. Um, when you slightly run out of position things don't go to plan. So potted two reds off the break there. But actually the reds are not so good because you've got these two tying each other up here. One over on the cushion, well towards the cushion that doesn't go down the side. And there's actually a lot more space for the yellows on the table. So I'm going to take the difficult yellow at the top here not trying to do anything fancy with it because we're playing along the along the top cushion just making sure of the pot knowing we've got this ball to the middle now on this ball to the middle we then really need to sort out this yellow here because it's blocking the other yellow so we just want to screw back a little bit from that so that we can take out this middle yellow and then that opens up those yellows across the middle so just digging down a little bit, don't want to be too hard because you tend to bounce out of middle pockets if it's too hard. So just want to screw back a little bit. And although we've got the position there, it's a little bit higher than I was hoping for. So if you look at this now, if I play this yellow to the middle, I'm going to be running down in this direction, which is not ideal in terms of position for the next shot. So I'm just looking to see if I can drop that in gently enough to hold for this yellow back to the middle. but. I don't think I can do that and risk not reaching the pocket. So I'm having to change my plan here. So I'm going to play this yellow across here instead, knowing that I'm going to be going towards this red, but hopefully we can just nudge that forward and then still be on this yellow to the bottom corner. So we just rolled in behind that, have this ball to the corner pocket. Now we need to try and play down and back up to around here so that we can then pop this yellow to the middle and come up again for these two balls here. We're fairly straight on this, so we're going to have to make a little bit of an angle, just steal a bit of the pocket, pop, pop the yellow over to this side of the pocket, a little bit of side as well, but we're bridging over a ball, so it's a little bit tricky from here. And just over hit it slightly and gone too far, so we now can't pop this ball to the middle. So again, having to change the plan, not beating myself up too much about it. There's still a shot that I can play. It's just having to adapt my plan because of the, 
the bad position will play. So we've got this yellow up to the top corner, fairly straight, fairly straightforward, just working out where I can get position from then on. So hopefully just rolling through an inch, and leaving myself fairly nice on this yellow to the middle. And again, gone too far, over hit the ball. So now if I played this yellow to the middle, I could still cut that in there. I'm gonna be flying down and back up with the white. It's gonna be very hard to judge my position and get position on this yellow over here. So I'm gonna change tact again and play this yellow down to the bottom corner. It's a more difficult pot, but positionally I can go across the table a couple of times, coming out nicely for the yellow. Back to the middle. And now it should be fairly easy to hold from here for the black. Just a little bit of screw back. So you can see there's several times I've adjusted the shot I was playing just because I didn't get the position I wanted on this previous shot. Even there I've over hit that too much, screw back a little bit too much, but it's not too bad. Um, just need to watch the tangent angle goes towards the corner pocket, so just a little bit of screw back just to make sure the white doesn't go down there. And nicely into the corner. So we've potted a yellow off the break there, and then looking at the layout, yellows have got these two that are a little bit tied up, and the reds are actually in lots of space, so they're, they're quite nice. It's not the easiest opening red, um, other than this one here in the middle, fairly sort of straight pot down to the corner, which is not too bad, and we can stun that nicely and end up in the middle of the table with lots of options on the other reds. So now we're in a fairly decent position. Um, we can now take this next one, down to the corner again and just roll forward and try and get in between these two reds. Not quite rolled forward enough there. So ideally we wanted to be between those two reds so we could drop in one and then the other one back to the middle. So now we're going to have to adapt this slightly because we've got a different angle. So we can still make the pot to the corner easy enough but we're going to be heading over in this direction. So we're just going to try and stun this with a little bit of right hand side to try and come round back into this area over here. and not quite got enough on that and clipped the yellow on the way through and now it's completely changed that shot. We wanted to be further up here. So really all we're left with now is this red up to the top right hand corner. There's no other choice. Um, in terms of position, fairly simple really just to um, stun in behind it and then we've got the yellow across to the middle. And then we've got this yellow over to the middle. We could take this red to the side of the black, but then we're running down this way. It doesn't leave us on either of the other two balls. So it's gonna to have to be this one to the middle. Um, and then we need to just make sure we don't end up on the cushion so that we can have a shot on this top ball here. If we'd have ended up on the cushion, I'd have had to play this shot with top spin. And we really want to be able to screw back off this to get down for the red. So that's why I made sure it didn't end up on the cushion. Still bridging, um, queuing down a little bit, but it's enough to be able to screw back towards the middle pocket. Get it done with being just a little bit lower because we're now still a little bit high on it. So now we're going to be playing down into this yellow. We've got a couple of choices here. We could either try and get the, the white to roll forward and leave a long black to the top, but there's a um, chance of being ended up a bit too close to the black. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and put lots of screw back on the white, come off this first yellow and then into this yellow and hopefully get a nice little bounce into this area here. I mean, just hit that second yellow a little bit too full in the face, could have done with just clipping off the side of it. So we're a little bit low on it. Now, still gonna take it down to this corner pocket, but just checking where the white's gonna be going because I'm gonna be flying off. These two yellows are blocking it to the middle, so I'm fairly confident there's no in off. Also, because it's a fine cut, I need to allow for the throw, so I'm actually aiming at this jaw here rather than the heart of the pocket. And then as the ball throws forward, it ends up in the middle of the pocket. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.